Good morning to you. Today is the second attempt at getting 21 pilots tickets. Um, we were so close yesterday at this, I've uh, not bought many tickets in my life, especially for concerts that go and set up very, very quickly. And uh, we didn't quite sort it out in time. So I got my opportunity to buy seats. I then clicked out to try and get better seats without realizing they were giving me the best seats on offer. And by the time I went back in, they were completely sold out the initial um, release. So they're releasing some more this morning in about an hour and a half. We are heading up to town where there is some decent Wi-Fi and decent connections on the internet so we can have another crack at it today. And then uh, if we don't get it today, we've got another chance tomorrow, another chance on Friday. Um, I'm on holiday, I'm kind of hoping that we can get them done today so my children can uh, start focusing on having a holiday and not focusing quite so much about getting tickets for 21 pilots. Anyway, that's what we're doing first thing this morning. It's about lunchtime. Um, and then we'll come back have a lazy one by the pool because everyone is overheating a little bit and could do with a little bit of a chill out and r and r catch you a bit be successful doing whatever it is that you're doing and i'll catch up with you later Okay, so X marks the spot. I'm standing right in the center of this amphitheater and I don't know if the microphone's picking it up or not, but there is a lot of reverb coming back, echoing back at me because of course that's exactly how amplification works, exactly how amphitheaters work and how they were designed. Anyway, here's the interesting thing I want to talk to you about. I did a video here a couple of years ago, maybe a year ago, I can't remember now, and it was all talking about how what we do in life goes out into the world and then reflects back to us, it echoes back to us, just like my voice is now echoing back to me in the center of this amphitheater, my actions, my behaviors, my intentions, they also go out into the external world, they interact with the external world and then echo back towards me and reflect to me a very personalized reality that I exist in, that I uh, live into. This is how it can be that you can have two people standing side by side and both of them having very different experiences of life because what happened is their echoes that are coming back to them are very different. One person might be very negative, might be negative in attitude, might be negative in behavior, and therefore the reflection, the, the, the echo that comes back to them reflects obviously what they're putting out and they get that experience. Someone else could be standing right next to them in exactly the same world in exactly the same um, set of circumstances. However, they might be in a much more positive mindset, might, uh, positive frame of mind, a positive uh, set of behaviors, and it reflects back and it echoes back in that way. So I did that little vlog a year or two ago, and I'm standing here now getting the echo. If I turn my back to it, maybe you'll get a sense of the echo that's coming back. And it's just a reminder for me, and it might be a reminder for you, that what we do in life echoes back to us as our reality. If we're not happy with our reality, then we have to put different stuff out there so we get different stuff reacting and echoing back to us. Anyway, I love it up here, superb views. It's a lovely little place. And now it's time to make sure we try and secure these 21 Pilots tickets. Catch you in a bit.
Okay, so as much as I am the proud father of two uh, 16 year old teenage daughters, there is one slight potential issue with coming on holiday with three other ladies, and that is this. We're sitting here in the sweltering heat. It must be about 100 inside there because all three of them suddenly needed an emergency pedicure. So we currently have had Livio in the seat. We've now got Georgia in the hot seat and then Tracy is due after that. So uh, yeah, I'm in there literally sweating my um, everything's off, uh, waiting for the three ladies of my life to, uh, to get pampered because apparently it was, it was literally an emergency. Okay, so behind me, just about make out Aphrodite's rock, the testicles are both there. The left ones or the right ones are a little bit smaller than the thing. Um, we're here at sunset actually. It's not the most spectacular I've ever had here, but it's always nice. I'll do a little tap here. Not bad. It's not bad. It gives a bit more of interpretation of actually what we're seeing here right now. Now, I did a video here um, towards the end of summer last year, or beginning of autumn last year, actually, and, um, and the background, the sunset, was absolutely spectacular. Um, so I'm going to drop that video in here to share with you, because that was actually way more spectacular than what we've got here right now, and I think it's worth sharing and everything else. We're all heading off to Paphos, because we're going to go and have the only tuna fish that I've managed to find on this entire island ever, um, which is one particular restaurant in, uh, in Paphos Harbour. So we're heading there tonight. It's about 20 minutes up the road. Hope you're having an awesome one. We'll catch you in a little bit. Dogs. <laughs> Today, I want to do nothing more than share with you the amazing spectacle that's going on behind me right now. Now, you can't see it right now because of the nature of Apple's algorithms. It's trying to put me in as much light as possible. However, I will just give it a little bit of a tap over there and you'll start to get a glimpse of what's actually going on. And I think it's just absolutely stunning. Now it's an interesting point. I've managed to keep it, there you go. <laughs> you can see me in the shadow there. So there you go, you're getting a, an idea there exactly what I'm actually seeing, which is more like what you're seeing there right now. Interesting actually, just make a little point there, I wasn't gonna uh, make a point particularly in this video, but uh, to make an interesting point there, just be aware that there's obviously some workings, inner workings going on inside my iPhone here, which is changing the settings to give what it thinks is the best results. Interestingly, it's very similar to what's going on inside your own mindset, which is the filters of your mind. You put a filter up and your brain sees what it wants to show you based on what it's learnt to show you in the past. In other words, it's been conditioned in terms of what to see or what to make the priority of the shot, the view, the perspective of life. So right now, I've managed to get an amazing perspective of life in my iPhone, which has managed to get a reasonable uh, amount of exposure on me whilst also sharing this amazing thing that's going on behind me right now. However, as soon as you tap on me and you bring me into focus like that, what happens is you lose all the amazing wondrousness that's going on behind me. Life is very, very similar. When we actually start to look, that's not bad, I'm trying to get something in the middle there for you again. I'm trying to find it again, that sweet spot for you. There you go, that's not too bad, is it? Um, when, we, when, when we look at anything, we observe life, we observe ourselves, we observe, uh, observe uh, the world around us and everything else, we do something very, very similar. We hone in on what we think is the most important part and we'll bring that into focus and the rest of the amazing world kind of fades into the background. So it's a bit of a metaphor here for you today. I wasn't actually gonna share a message particularly, I just wanted to share that amazing thing going on behind me. Um, however, the way my brain works, I saw the metaphor going on right there. 
So we look around at life and what happens is our brain tunes in and we focus on the salient parts, what we've learnt are the salient parts of life in terms of how we should view life, how we should view ourselves and everything else. And actually all that amazing wondrousness in the background can sometimes blur out into the background. We literally just don't see it. So actually in life sometimes what we've got to do, we've got to start learning to see stuff again. Because if we can't see um, what's out there, then, then there is no potential out there for us. There's no possibility out there for us. If we can start to retrain ourselves to actually see some of the stuff that we've been trained not to see, then we're in a world of possibility. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you with that just for a couple of moments. I'm gonna watch it completely tip down, but it's absolutely stunning. And I think it serves as an amazing metaphor as well. Okay, so the Gin Rummy Championships of 2018 continues. I was in close contention in second place. I've now dropped to third place. But we have in fourth place, we have Olivia. In third place, we have me. In second place, we have Tracy. And in first place, currently, we have Georgia. But here's the thing. There's only about 80 something points between all of us. This is riveting shit, I know. There is only about 85 points between all of us. It is in close contention. I will continue to share the update as the drama evolves.